tough prospect ahead of you? What would you expect from that? Um, again, I think this is going to be the biggest and hardest fight in my career. Uh, with Michael, in his fights, what you see is what you get. Comes to fight, he's never in a dull fight either. Um, he's been in with the best in the weight, best in the division. Um, again, he's boxed all over the world. He's been over here twice before. Uh, beat Kevin Mitchell, beat Graham Merrill. Uh, so I know it's going to be the hardest fight in my career, but that's what's going to bring out the best in me. What's the, what's the best of him? Though? Where are his strengths? What, what do you see that the problem is for you? Um, well, obviously, we, know, we all know he is a, he's a big puncher, brawler, constantly in your face. Um, but again, things we've been working on a few different things in the gym. Um, obviously, I, over my last few, since I won the world title on my few defences, uh, I've been getting more aggressive myself. Um, but again, I've always been a good boxer as well. I've said with this fight, um, we can only go, we can only just uh, take the fight as it comes. Once we step in that ring and the fight begins, that's when I know what fight I'm going to fight. You touched a little bit on your training camp in the lead up to this and how comfortable you've been not having to lose weight. Uh, tell me about the difference between your mental mindset now and maybe for your last fight against Cook. The, the last fight, see, six to eight weeks before the fight, I was on a strict diet. Um, I mean, like, I couldn't afford any slip-ups at all. I was on schedule to make the weight. Um, getting the last couple of pound off for the last fight was a nightmare. Honestly, I can't emphasise enough the state I was in uh, the morning of the way in. Um, now, um, although I do still diet, I get to eat a lot more, um, obviously, the good stuff, um, and especially the, the intensity of the training sessions and that we've been doing for this fight. Uh, you, you do, you need to eat that wee bit extra more, so it's just a big weight off my mind. No, even, don't even see the thought of knowing that I can go and have something good now. Um, I think that's a big deal as well, just so much happier with my boxing. Have you done anything different in the training camp, apart from the, the food and that? Um, well, we've started doing a lot more upper body strength stuff now, um, which I couldn't do when I was fine at Super Featherweight because obviously I would get too big. Yeah. Uh, but although I've not got massive, massive, uh, but I have bulked up just slightly. You feel stronger? Uh, I feel stronger, in, especially in sparring. Um, is like when we're doing eight and ten rounds sparring, obviously when you're killing yourself to make weight, the second half you just feel yourself, it was forced out, whereas now I just feel strong for start to finish. So uh, it's about taking any of the fight now. It's going to go the distance? Um, I've said before, I've trained for a hard 12 rounds. Uh, I know this is going to be a hard, hard fight. Uh, Michael was saying there, his training, that's been going perfect. The only people that are going to win here is that obviously the fight, the fight fans. It's going to be a cracking fight. Was it? I mean, what would it mean to you and your family if you come through positively and successfully? Um, obviously, I think that's the next. People have been saying, "Oh, you're going to be a two-weight world champion and things like that." Do you know, I don't really look at it that way. I look, I treat boxing as my job, um, and again, that's the way I look at it. That's how I don't like um, what the, the media attention and things like that. Yeah, so I just want to get in there and go on with the job in hand. Thanks very much. Cheers, mate. Cheers.